we could just t uh, talk about that a little bit. So I've been kind of torn between two different things. Um, like one is a certain thing uh, I can do in my life, and then another thing is to do in my life. So I've just been kind of confused, and I'm praying about it, and I'm reading, you know, and studying the word and all that, and just I don't feel a clear answer. So, yeah. So, um, um, I, I know I know a lot of a lot of you guys probably go through this. You, you don't really know, um, you know, what to do in, in situations, and and you and you you cry out to God, and um, you, sometimes you just don't hear answers. Um, here's a here's a couple ways that a couple of ways you can you can deal with that. So first is, you know, continuing to, to read the Bible. That's beautiful. Like, there's nothing better than to come and go before God, and, and that's your relationship with Him. Is, is that's what, how you're going to hear from Him. It's, it's God's Word. So continue to go to Him and, and you know, praying to Him and at, crying out to Him. And, and um, if He's not giving you clear answers, just continue to do so. Con continue to stay faithful and, and you know, yeah, that, it's a beautiful thing just to continue to seek God and, and what He wants you to do and be faithful and obedient to the Creator. Also, um, another way is, is another beautiful thing is um, why fellowship is so important. Find a brother or a sister or uh, an elder at church and, and really pour out your heart to them and, and you know, ask them, you know, for, for advice. It's a great thing. That's why fellowship is so important to disciple one another. And, and maybe we're going through the same kind of situation and we can learn from one another. And, and that's what God wants is, is discipleship, not only um, through his word, which is the most important, but also one-on-one, -on -one, life on life, brother on brother, sister on sister, and, and really just creating that strong fellowship that, that God wants us to have with one another. Um, so also, I, I want to read um, a, a verse from the Bible, which maybe, I, I hope, gives you guys encouragement. It's, uh, it's in Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. What, kind of like when you hear that, like, what is what is something that that pops in your mind and um, yeah does it does it like what does it encourage you to do like uh, it encourages me to just put everything in the Lord's hands and just like uh, trust Him with everything like um, whether I'm whether I'm like you know with whatever decision I'm gonna just put it in the Lord's hands and don't worry about it and um, and he'll direct my paths if I acknowledge him. So he'll make straight my paths if I acknowledge him. So, like, acknowledging him in everything I'm doing, like, you know, in everything I'm doing, just giving him the glory and making sure my heart's in the right place, that I'm just giving him glory and not trying to, you know, bring glory to myself. Exactly. It's, it's beautiful when, when you can just go before the creator of the universe He's already had this whole thing planned out. If he, if he tells you to, to stay, you'll stay. If he tells you to go, we're faithful and we're, we want to be obedient and we're going to go. And so, yeah, like if, if, he's not, if, if he's not really giving you a clear answer, just be content with where you're at. And yeah, guys, uh, that, that was the video. I hope and pray that you guys uh, find encouragement in this. And if you have any more questions, Please comment down below. Brought to you guys. God bless.